What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at QuickSight in AWS. Now, QuickSight is AWS's data visualization tool. And so a lot of companies, when they get into AWS's ecosystem, they have really simple needs for their data visualization and they just use the internal tool, which is QuickSight. It's not the most robust tool you've ever seen in your life, but we're gonna take a look and see how it actually works. And I'll make a lot of comparisons to things like Power BI and Tableau, which are really popular data visualization tools. So without further ado, let's jump on my screen and take a look. Well, let's scroll down, let's go to analytics. And under the analytics, we have QuickSight right here. Now, in order to get started with QuickSight, we actually have to create an account. So we have to sign up for QuickSight. So let's go ahead and say sign up for QuickSight. For the authentication method, we just want to use the IAM Federated Identities. You can uh, use some of these other ones if you'd like. You should specify your region. Make sure you fill out your account info. And then down here, you can uh, use an existing role or you can just use the QuickSight Manage role. Highly recommend just using default, much easier and allow access and auto discovery for these resources. So if you want them to be able to use your S3 buckets, be sure to click on your S3 bucket and we can say, uh, here's the bucket we want. Uh, you know, maybe I'll just choose both of them, but here are the buckets that we want you to be able to access as well as all these other things as well. And then we'll come down here and we don't want paginated reports and then we'll click finish. So now it's creating our account and then we'll get access in just a second. All right, that took about 10 seconds. This is the name that I gave uh, our account for QuickSight. And let's go ahead and go to QuickSight. This is what's new in QuickSight. Let's go ahead and close out of that. Now, this is the UI for QuickSight. Now, just before we get into, you know, creating stuff and building stuff and all these different things, I just want to talk about QuickSight in general. This is AWS's tool for data visualization. And of course, there are other options. There's Power BI, there's Looker, there's uh, Tableau. There's lots of different options and all those are perfectly acceptable. And in fact, in some instances, they may be better for some things. But within AWS's ecosystem, this is their BI data visualization tool. And so because it's already integrated into all their services, it does make it a little bit easier to use than some of the other ones. Um, and that's what they're hoping for. They're hoping you use their services and stay in their ecosystem. So you don't have to go anywhere else for any service ever because AWS wants your money and your business, of course. Now within QuickSight, you can share reports, you can create folders that you can uh, share with customers and clients. You can create dashboards. You can, of course, create stories. We have analysis, data sets, and topics. And then over here, we have some sample analysis. So these are different um, things that they've already created visualizations for. But the first thing I want to show you is right over here in data sets. Now, these are the data sets that we already have access to sales pipeline. Uh, let's just click in on one. We get a very slight overview of kind of what this data looks like. We can refresh this data. And so if we're connected to a data source, we can refresh this or we can schedule this. And then we can look at permissions and usage for people who have access uh, to this data and how they can use it as well. So just some interesting things within data sets. If we want a new data set, we just come in here and we specify where we want to pull in our data, whether it's an S3 bucket or we want to upload a file or it's coming in from Athena. There's a lot of different places uh, that we can pull it in. There is something up here I just want to note. We're not actually going to be pulling in any data for this. We're going to be using one of their samples just for demonstration purposes. But there's something called SPICE in here. SPICE actually stands for Super Fast Parallel In-Memory Calculation Engine, and it's used to do things really quickly in QuickSight. But for example, let's just say we were uh, uploading a file. We can choose uh, SQL database output. I don't even know what's in that file. Let's see what the preview says. Okay, we have some products. This is our products file. But let's say we select next. We want to bring in uh, this file. It's going to import it into Spice. And so that's going to cost money. That's going to put it into their super fast parallel in-memory calculation engine. And then you are going to pay for that service. Now, that isn't always the case. We don't have to. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're not. We're going to cancel that import. But you don't always have to do that, especially if you have other types of data connections so like MySQL or PostgreSQL. You may not need that. But just be aware of what that is because that does cost money. Let's go up here to QuickSight. We're going to come on back and let's take a look at some of these samples that they have. Let's go into this sales pipeline analysis. 
So right now we're working with sample data and we're not gonna be doing a full project in here in QuickSight. Really what we're doing is just seeing how it works and how everything is built out and how you can customize and build out your own dashboards analysis as well. So if you come in here, you can see that we have different types of visualizations, very standard types of visualizations uh, for any BI tool. And if we click into one of these, let's say we're clicking into this one, you'll see we have an X axis, a value, and a color. On the left hand side, we also have all of our fields and you can see whether it's a dimension or if it is a measure. Next, you can see that up here we have our data set. This is the data that we are using. And right over here is the type of visualization chart. Now this should look really familiar if you're familiar with Tableau or Power BI, both of which I have series on YouTube. But these are different types of visualizations that you probably have seen. And so if we wanted to uh, change this, we can click on a different type of chart and it's gonna visualize that data based off of that visual type. So that can be extremely, extremely useful. These are ones that I would use all the time is just clicking on one of these and then filling in the X axis, the value, the color, and all of these different things that it's prompting you to provide. Another thing you'll notice is we have different sheets up here. So within this analysis, we can add new sheets. So we'll make this uh, interactive. And now we have a blank sheet here that we can build our visualizations off of. So let's say we wanted some type of donut chart in here. We have our donut chart and it's gonna uh, prompt us to fill in what it actually needs. So we need a value, then we need a group slash color. So let's say we want the uh, region to be our group and color. And for the value, we'll do the weighted uh, revenue right here. And we're gonna do the sum and that should work. And so you can see that this is interactive. You can go ahead and click on this. You can click into these different options. You can change these colors. Let's say we wanna make this one uh, black. There we go. And there's other options up here, like format this uh, visualization, or if we want to maximize it or minimize it. And if we wanna add any more visualizations, we just click add and we can add it right over here. And so everything in here is quite customizable and you can rename these sheets. Let's call this one uh, sum by region, call it whatever we want. This is just for this one uh, visualization. But everything is in here is quite customizable. Now, once we have our visualizations, we have this properties right over here and we can change a lot of the titles, subtitles. If it's a donut chart, we can make it large, small, medium. We can show the total versus not showing the total. So everything in here is very, very customizable. And we can specify if we want the data labels and the legend on. So if we don't want the legend, we can turn it off and on. Or if we don't want the data labels, we can turn those off and on as well. We also have over here an interactions tab. So if you want to customize some of these interactions, or if you want to customize some of these tool tips, you can also do that as well, which happens when you hover over it. So right here on this right-hand side, it's giving us the uh, field for region and the weighted. And then you'll notice when we hover over it, you can see it's the US with the weighted revenue. So we can specify what we want in here. Maybe we want to um, add something else. Maybe we want to add, uh, the date doesn't make sense for here, but maybe the uh, segment. Let's go ahead and do that. And we hover over it. You can see there's a count of the segment, which is 12,824 for this data set. So you can customize these tool tips as well. Now, when we're done with our visualizations, we can come over here to file and we can publish this and save as analysis. So just saving is gonna save it for you to pick up later and do whatever you want with it. But let's say we want to publish this. Publishing this dashboard, and we're just gonna call this uh, sample dashboard, is gonna make it available to everyone. So let's go ahead and publish this dashboard. So now we have uh, this first sheet that was created by them, but then we have the second one that was created by us. Now, once we've published it, we can then come over here and we can share this. So we can share this dashboard and we can come in here and we can choose anyone who has access to QuickSight. We can say, I wanna share this with my colleague or the customer, whoever it is, and I wanna use this. The other thing that we can do is we can copy this embed code. What you can do is you can say, hey, I want to embed this on my website or on this platform and I want to uh, show this visualization. You can embed that using the code uh, from this right here. We also can copy this link. And so we'll copy the link, we'll come right over here. 
And now we have access to this dashboard. So anybody who has access to it can just use it as a link. And that's really helpful as well. But what I thought was really interesting uh, within all this is the embedding code, because not every BI tool is embeddable. But QuickSight, because of course it's with AWS, it's all internet based. It's not, you know, local to your computer. It's very embeddable into almost, you know, anything you want to put it into. So let's go back to our sample dashboard. We'll go back to QuickSight. So that's our different analysis, but let's go over to our dashboards. When we actually published our analysis, it went right in here to our dashboard. So now this is a completed dashboard. We would again share with our internal teams or our customers. We also can create data stories. This is something you do need to upgrade in order to receive access to this, but this is very, very similar to data stories in something like Tableau. If you've watched my Tableau series, it's very, very similar. You can watch this uh, video as well, but you create these little stories and you can add narrative and you know why the data is doing what it's doing and what impact that has. And it's pretty good. Good. I personally don't use data stories all that much. I mostly would create a lot of KPI metric dashboards and stuff like that. But you know, there are use cases for data stories, of course. Lastly, we have these folders. Let's go ahead and create a new folder. Let's call this one Alex the Analyst folder. Once that folder is created, we can come back to our dashboard. We can right click on this and say add to folder. Then we need to specify our folder. So we'll go to my folders and we'll add this. And so now within my folder, if I click in here, I have this dashboard. Now this is really just an organizational tool for the most part, but when you start using this in a production environment, you're gonna have a ton of different dashboards. And so you can come in here and create different ones for different customers, different clients, internal teams, so that you can organize all these different dashboards and data stories and whatnot. So you have it all in one place. And so again, that's just super useful, really user-friendly. Now, this is really all we're gonna cover in this video. We're not doing a full project in QuickSight. I'm really just demonstrating how to use it, some of the things that they have in here that I think are really interesting, and how you can publish and share and do all those things within QuickSight. So I hope that that was helpful. And if you have not already, be sure to check out my full Azure and AWS course on analystbuilder.com. And if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below. And I will see you in the next video.